hello friend welcome to the channel in this video i want to give you tips on how to prevent bad breath bad breath is caused by oral bacteria keep in mind this video is going to really help you you know to put a stop to recurring bad breath my name is victoria i'm a natural skincare chemist i'm a microbiologist so I deal with these microbes all the times and I know a bit about them, not too much, but I know a bit about them. But today let's address uh, common causes of bad breath and how to prevent it. Bad breath is caused by an oral bacteria that is different from individual to individual. Okay? Keep in mind bad breath most of, the most of the time does not come from the stomach. It comes mainly from your mouth here is how bad breath happens the bacteria in the in the in the saliva in the mouth okay it will convert some compound in your saliva you know and it's just going to attach itself to the uh, saliva and it will turn into hydrogen sulfide it is this hydrogen sulfide that causes the foul odor that we get from people with bad odor. So when you feel someone with a uh, foul odor, do not blame them. Blame them is the cause, is the function of um, this pesty pesty bacteria. Uh, how they work is that they create pores, okay, in the mouth that will, you know, start uh, emitting hydrogen sulfide, which is not, you know, comfortable to, to our normal smell. Now how do you prevent it the best way to prevent it is to kill the pores okay of this bacteria once you are able to kill the pores okay you are good to go so today i am going to just tell you ways to prevent it once i'm done with that i'm going to make another video on different ways to deal with bad breath and how to get yourself back to normal so today Number one way to prevent bad breath is to make sure you rinse your mouth after each meal. I cannot say this enough. When you finish eating, please rinse your mouth with water. If you do not have a brush near, just make sure you just go to the bathroom and just rinse your mouth with water. It's going to really help a long way. And also, take orange. Orange is very good. Why is orange very good? Orange has citric acid, okay, which helps to stimulate the salivary gland. So the more saliva you have, okay, the fresh, uh, the fresher your breath uh, becomes. Another thing you want to consider is to love parsley. Uh, the good thing about parsley is that it's a good deodorizer. Why? Because it has uh, chlorophyll, a very popular, you know, jam-fighting compound. So you, that's why you want to keep. Uh, love parsley a lot just you know chew it fresh parsley just make sure it's washed make sure you have the habit of you know hitting it once in a while another thing you want to do is to run away from things that kill the bread cheese garlic and onion are the three major culprits they kill kill the bed because you know they they really had more more worse to our um, to bad breath so you want to avoid that as much as possible um, then one other thing you can do is that when you notice you have bad breath a lot make sure you scrape your tongue okay there are if you go on Amazon look in the description box below so for recommended tongue scraper if you do not have a tongue scraper you can use a spoon okay you can use your regular regular home spoon okay of this type or you can use plastic spoon to scrape your tongue why do you have to scrape, uh, scrape your tongue you're going to this is going to really help you to dislodge the bacteria and uh, when you don't scrape in it make sure you rinse your mouth so how do you scrape your tongue scrape it from back of the tongue to the front just as if you're scratching something okay but you have to uh, do it gently scrape it like this from the back to the front also scrape the side of the tongue okay scrape the side of the tongue uh, gently you can use a plastic spoon you can use your regular uh, metal spoon just like this okay that's another way you can do it then um, once you're done scraping make sure you rinse it with water make sure you do this at least three times every day i've seen people that do it like uh, almost every time but three times is, is very good for you okay um, is there a cure for bad breath well 
I won't say there's no care, but in this one, I just want to give you ways to prevent it. In my next video, I will help you. I will tell you the best way to cure it. And uh, uh, I'll suggest to you different, different ways. And I know it's going to help you all. So how do we prevent bad breath? So the next option I want to talk about now is you need to change your eating habit. People that skip meals are susceptible to bad breath. So make sure you don't skip your meat, uh, your meal eat in the morning afternoon and night if you have you are the type that loves to snack also it helps make sure you snack why do you have to heat properly it's because the number one cause apart from the um the bacteria we're talking about the number one cause of bad breath is dry mouth once your mouth is dry okay you are setting the stage for bacteria to oral bacteria to take you know to thrive in your mouth okay this all happens in the mouth i do not want to go too much into detail into detail of the biology behind it but you have to make sure you know you you heat at a normal time avoid excess uh, so that you don't want your mouth to be too dry also you want to avoid excess sugar intake okay if you had a type that take you know uh, bread uh, mint you want to run away from them trust me as nice as they are they have sugar and the more sugar you have the more you know uh, you are making your mouth uh, you know comfortable for older causing bacteria to thrive in your mouth so you want to run away from uh, meat and sugar as much as possible also if you are a coffee drinker watch it watch it it provides comfortable environment for bacteria to thrive in your mouth so you want to run away from there like i said before you want to prevent dry mouth this is caused when you skip meals okay so you don't want that at all another thing you want to keep in mind is cinnamon cinnamon stick i'm going to show that to you i know you must have you must have come across that um, cinnamon stick is very good you know just chew on it I'm going to show you the picture here or you can just go on Google and search it you know cinnamon stick is the way to go okay just make sure you chew on cinnamon stick also it's a very good antiseptic you know it helps to fight odor causing oral bacteria um, I'm going to skip this right now I will talk about it in uh, my um, remedies okay for preventing bad breath this I'm going to talk about what you should use and what so I'm going to skip this quickly now I'm going to another very important thing I want to talk to you about now finally I want to talk about ways to another way my final point to prevent bad breath you have to if you are on uh, prescription medication you have to watch it okay prescription medication like antidepressants antihistamine you know if uh, prescription for high blood pressure this causes bad breath because they they uh, dehydrate you and cause you to have dry mouth so this is something that you cannot stop yourself you, you need to talk to your doctor about and the doctor will assess you and give you the proper proper you know diagnosis so that being said just like i said before make sure the, f the best way to prevent you know mouth odor is to stop ways to you know eliminate way things that cause dry mouth and what causes dry mouth when you skip meals okay when you skip meals a lot so yes you're setting your, uh, a good stage for bacteria to thrive and to prevent bad breath love your oranges just you know eat orange it's very very you know rich in citric acid that stimulate the salivary gland um, parsley also like i said is a good deodorizer i've actually had friends that you know only thrive she just you know started taking parsley at least uh, three times every week and you know trust me uh bad breath went away i had another friend also that i used that just love garlic you know she, she loves garlic so much that she can't stop taking garlic and this ended up affecting her so much that you know it's it was worse until she stopped taking the garlic the mouth although did not go now 
and in my next video i'm going to talk about quick home remedies for bad breath not only home remedies and ways to cure bad breath this is a bit extensive i'm going to have to do some demonstration for you so that's why i will be taking this uh, screen off uh, in my next video so stay tuned for that i link the video up in in the description uh, below in the description box below so go and see my home remedy for bad breath in that remedy i will explain to you different ways to kill uh, the poor causing bacteria okay this bacteria uh, that that makes pores in your mouth and these pores are filled with hydrogen sulfide this bacteria we mix okay with compound in your saliva and it will turn the saliva into hydrogen sulfide sulfur uh, that sulfur is what is the foul odor that we smell in the outside world so how do we kill those pores? That is the final solution to halitosis. Halitosis, the chemical term for uh, bad breath is called is halitosis. So how do we deal with halitosis? Watch out for my next video. Look in the description box below for a link to that video. That is going to give you the final cure. I mean, final, final cure. I've done it myself with my husband, with colleagues, and it has really, really worked. So stay tuned for that video. Click in the description box below, you see that video. All right, anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Remember, um, how our habits, you know, affect our breath. So you want to have uh, good breath, you need to change your eating habits, you know, don't skip meal, eat at a normal time. Rinse your mouth if you don't have a toothbrush beside you, use water to, you know, just rinse your mouth after each meal and um, get in the habit of uh, taking orange because of the citric acid is going to help stimulate uh, fresh saliva uh, which is going to you know give us more uh, fresh breath and parsley is a very good deodorizer so you want to eat it it's going to clean your mouth trust me it's going to deal with this uh, bacteria even though it may not kill their pores parsley is a good deodorizer when you keep using it again you see your mouth get used to it and it's going to you know help dislodge bacteria also scraping your tongue using scraper look in the description box below for recommended tongue scraper like you scrape your tongue you know um at least daily it really helps to dislodge or mouth odor caused bacteria and when you rinse them away that's the end of it just make sure you rinse them into the uh, toilet bowl and flush it right away thank you so much for watching remember on this channel we we'll talk about skincare talk about health and talk about uh, issues that matters to life so if you want to learn more about you know having beautiful skin having good health this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos thank you so much for watching